Hey yo, it's Dave. What's going on, everybody? Today, I don't, I didn't, I can't believe I forgot to do this. I forgot to cover the Hawk Pass mission. So, shout out to the Grand Cross database. Uh, normal, make food for ten people, clear SP dungeons, pendant stage four times, and enhance gear five times. Clear free stages five times, and use friend support three times. Oh, I have yet to do this one. I, I didn't even see. That's how you know I didn't read it because I didn't even do all of this yet. So. Uh, some of this stuff seems pretty simple. Enhanced gear, clear free stages, some yada yada yada. Uh, for special, you just gotta do it at the same time. Oh, no, 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 no. Eat a friend's pub three times. Clear any SP dungeon stage five times and clear boss stage two times. Open village chest three times. Oh, you gotta go into the village and actually open the chest. Ooh. Uh, send friend coins five times. Okay, I think I subconsciously did that because I get the friend coins every day. And we got the new story battle event uh clear stage 10 times clear first nightmare stage that one's always a given and this one is to use 15 rank one skills Ooh, okay and clear with a full ur team check mark easy enough and successfully upgrade gear 15 times that doesn't even have to do anything with the event it's just like yo go upgrade some gear real quick and you can get this mission done uh that's another story event out right now but uh, uh grand cross database didn't um Get to translate it yet so unfortunate but still shout outs to them make sure you go follow them because what they do is so great and today we are gonna go over boar hat tavern hostess elizabeth sr rarity red str whatever you want to call it race a goddess clan unit rating her passive and she's pretty good for crimson ex you can use her for hell solo run that's what i'm trying that's what i'm going to try and use her for not in today's video today is just like the showcase of her to show how good she is specifically uh let's go over her passive first allies are healed by 10 percent of max h 10 percent of max hp at the start of the next turn when taking damage so if you're going against the aoe all right hold on, let me go over here uh let me go to grand cross database list of uniques uh Elizabeth, Elizabeth, I don't want to type in E, there she is. Uh, allies are healed by 10% max HP. Allies, uh, HP, and can it be worked in the sub spot? Yes, absolutely. So that's what we're going to be doing today in today's video. We're going to have her in the fourth slot, and I just made this random team. Please don't laugh at my team when you see it, please. I promise you. I just did it for the sake of the video. I just f filled it with a bunch of tanks. Well, not even great tanks, just like old tanks. First card. Uh, slide sir <laughs> inflict damage equal to 360 of attack on one enemy and disable attack skills for two turns pretty good but if you're going to use her in crimson she can't well he can't be sealed his attacks you really just want to use her for a passive and her healing when he's not sealing healing cards which is super annoying her second card though uh, heals HP of all allies equal to 300 percent of attack and fills the ultimate move gauge by two that's pretty clutch if you can get this off let's say you end phase one wait her wait fills her ultimate move gauge or like allies it, it might just be her but either way that's good because if you can have a three star and then you use her ultimate and then right after that you use this oh my goodness it'll be oh recovery overload literally uh 300% of attack, so that's why you want to run her with a tag gear uh, when you take her into difficult events because she just healed a freaking buttload of HP, dude. It's crazy. It's insane. Even it's 200%. It's 200%. If you have, I don't even know, uh, if, she, if her attack is stupid, like 15% rerolls, oh my goodness, you won't die. Our ultimate heals HP of all allies equal to 300% of attack. This is 50% more than her card. So basically a full heal, <clears throat> no matter what. Oh, um, max um, ultimate level, 525%. I'm sorry, my voice is kind of going on with me. 525%. I have her um, max super attack. You should too because she's she drops so freaking much. Uh, so basically, guarantees full heal every single time. Rejuvenates is an additional recovery equal to 60% of recovered HP at the start of every turn. So, if you take damage and you still have that rejuvenate for three turns, they still heal a butt ton of HP. So, recommended usage. Elizabeth can heal passively from the sub slot. She can be used on the sub slot for early game Crimson Raids to provide extra sustain 
or to be used as a supply for soloing Crimson. Exactly, this was this is my intentions with her. <clears throat> she also has attack card tilling skills and gives ultimate gauge. Overall, although she can be put on the main slot and work as a healer, she is mainly seen on the sub slot. Yes, wholeheartedly agree. Recommended gear for main slot, attack and defense because you know she heals based based on how much attack she has and for sub slot you just want to run HP and defense because you know extra combat class and you'll have an easier run at it so oh her oh that's her gift okay so we're going to be running her with uh you can run her with Meliodas because he gives her extra attack and that'll be more healing so that's stupid uh without further ado let's go into the game and obviously we don't have her on the main rotation we just have her in the back and we want to uh, rank up with Gother and get a couple of stances going and we want to take as much damage as possible well we can because we got this tank team right so uh, that's how it's going to be i need some defense food for guirmore because the more defense he has the more attack he has and here we have it we can't take damage <laughs> i don't know on second thought i don't think this this might have been a good idea because we won't be taking any damage and then voila just like that you won't take no damage whatsoever let's do uh this and that why not it's funny. I was like, hmm, what team should I take uh, Elizabeth for in the sub slot, you know? I'm like, you know what, let me just make a full team just for, like, the giggles, you know? I just want it to be funny. I don't know why. It's, and I think it is funny. I don't know. Like, when do you ever see this team outside of reverse stage? And I don't know, man. It's, it's kind of funny. Uh, Let's do this, this, and... Little Gil won't take any damage because he has full old gauge. So uh, that's a rip on them for trying to damage me. Uh, we, let's. I think we can actually take damage in the final stage. This hail stage gave me so much trouble when I was trying to showcase my um, my crit team. <laughs> but now it's just like, oh, what's damage? Yeah. I think the um, second phase will, we can actually be damaged. Is this a showcase for Elizabeth or is this a showcase for how good uh, Gil can tank? Let's uh, do this. And that shock is pretty good because usually if you try to debuff them any other way, they just, I think they cleanse it. I don't know. It might be on all phases of the stage or it just might be the second stage. The shock might even kill them. I don't know. But we just can't take them. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, that's it. And then you know what? We can do this. And then Guillermoire can take a uh, stab at it for not taking damage. Oh, of course, we do the ultimate anyway. Uh, of course, because his goes off, it's like a buff to himself, so it's not really a tech, so it counts. It goes through the phase. So this is perfect. Though. We won't take any damage unless they actually do pierce. I bet they do watch. Uh, let's do this. We just skip a turn. Uh, ho hopefully they can damage. That's what I want, honestly. Can they? Cleanse debuffs. Yes, perfect. Thank you. Okay, there you have it. No damage. <laughs> oh, Guillermo, I love you. No damage. <laughs> oh, it, it, it doesn't show the, sh the shield, but when it's my turn, they'll actually show it. Oh my goodness, this boy's a thug. Uh, I don't think this might have been the run because let's do let's do this and that because his his buff freaking lasts for like six turns, which is something busted. It's like how is Guillermo not like one of the best SSRs in the game? Because his buff lasts for so long, nothing can penetrate him. How is he not the best unit in the game? That's what I don't understand, bro. I think this might have been a wrong team. <laughs> oh, they delete cards. I forgot if they can actually penetrate. Oh, they take old gauge too. Nice, nice. How could I forget? Uh, let's do this. This. Why not? Why not? I just want to see them actually do some damage. I'm not even afraid with when, when Grimoire is like this. It's like what's? It's nothing to be afraid of. Like this is not even about like a. Well, Elizabeth is in the back healing us. We can't die, so they're gonna do ultimate, of course. Oh, so does it matter which order? Because I guess Gil Thunder is taunting them, but Grimoire is taunting them too. We can't even do damage. Well, okay. Oh, they actually are. That's great. That's perfect. That's what we want. Go to died. How much can we heal? Oh, this is perfect. It turned out perfect. What's that? 
Oh, we didn't heal that much. Ooh, ooh. Uh, let's do this, this, and that. So, <clears throat> so the tank team can actually be hurt. Well, go for dig. It hurt. It was kind of funny. He was like, "Oh no!" He's like being blown in the wind. Everybody else got this awesome like defensive ability. It's just funny to see. I don't know why. Okay. Ooh. Yo, Thunder is about to die. Whoa! If they if they didn't take away Old Gauge, this would be a different story because the more the more Old Gauge Gil Thunder has, the more tanky he is. But Guirmore is just out here like withstanding everything. Let's do this, this, and I I just want to see. I know. Ooh, they no. They do AOEs, right? Okay, perfect. Single target him. You can't hurt him. You can't. Unless you do AoEs, then I'm gonna just heal that right back up with Elizabeth. So I guess this this showcase actually did turn out. I know it's not the most exciting, but it's kinda not what you see every day, right? Uh let's do this. That's gonna give us one old gauge. Bada bing. It's quicker to get our ultimate. Ooh, ooh. What can you do? Bro, that hurt. They, their ultimate hurts. Well, I think I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna use Elizabeth in the main slot so I can see, see how much he heals based off, you know, just just chilling, you know? But <laughs> Grimoire is out here just like withstanding everything. So what can you say? Grimoire, <sighs> Grimoire is stupid. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Let me cut here and I'll be right back and I'll put in a first slot and then we can just see how good she performs just like as a regular like Main slot hitting unit. I, I can't even find the word. So I'm gonna be right back. Hold on. All right So this will be the showcase. I guess I just brought Escanor because I feel like uh Why not? And I haven't used Escanor in a minute. Uh, we can use her to Nah, let's just let's chill for one second. One second, real quick. This one nearly has ultimate. Uh, oh, I still have on defense food. I should have put on old food because I guess you want to chase your ultimate. Or no, I guess you just want to have as many healing cards of her as possible because I feel like it's stupid to have. Um, yeah, if you have like a three star with her, she can get her old gauge like easily. And plus, it's always nice to have those extra healing cards and whatnot. And look, I'll say we we can have our ultimate if if we just move one of her cards, and then we just do another one. Okay, that'll be perfect. If we can just do that and then that, and then boom, bada bing, bada boom, we have our ultimate. Uh, and plus we'll have that's gonna do so. That's gonna the thug. Let's see how much she heals. First of all, let's see how much attack she has because she heals based off what. Let me see real quick. Uh, three hundred percent. Of her attack, so she has uh, 10,000 attack and 300% of that is hold on. Let me pull out the calculator real, real quick. Okay, so she's gonna heal like 31k HP per like <laughs> for everyone. Okay, so I, I did the quick maths uh, 300% is basically times three. Uh, we can do this and then Escalar, you can just, just chill real quick. I just wanted to see. Oh, yeah, 36k. Oh yeah, this this girl is stupid. Oh, 73k you say what what was oh how is this math calculated in this game? Level one was 36k. It was around what I uh thought, but still. Okay. We can do her ultimate and then once her ultimate kicks in, we can have rejuvenate and she'll heal. Bro, her passive plus that rejuvenate, it's just insane, honestly. We can um just like pop off with Escanor real quick. Oh, I did get Escanor to 6'6". Six, six. I guess I should do a showcase on Escanor now. Hmm. Even though he is already, I mean, he's stupid, right? But I did recently recently get him to 6'6", six, six, so that is a video worthy for some hypeness. Oh, okay. And then she's gonna heal it back up. Look at that, bro. This, is, this girl's insane. Uh, let's do this. Now I should have uh, done this, that, and why not? We can just keep upgrading her because if she gets her ultimate, we can theoretically never die unless somebody just hits too hard. I mean, I wouldn't recommend taking her 
into pvp she's like great everywhere in pve but i don't know i haven't seen her in pvp like anywhere like you can google like i'm not google youtube uh how good is sr elizabeth in pvp i don't know something like that pretty sure james probably covered it and when that Ooh, let's see if we can get our ultimate uh i know we can get escanor for sure <laughs> oh she's like escanor but a healer what oh let's go get that extra old gauge then we get that extra two old gauge oh what a beautiful sight escanor has his pop oh oh what a what a combo <laughs> and then that's gonna probably not my life bro it we just can't be hurt. Oh, you took away my old gauge. How annoying. That's unfortunate. I forgot how annoying these story stages are. They actually take away old gauge, because you can't take away theirs. And we heal all that back up. Watch. Boom, full heal. Oh, it's gone, though, so. Um, no, 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 no. Let's do this. Can we seal him? I want to see how much can she like attack for like on her actual attack that's what i want to see all right oh 21k type disadvantage oh they heal of course they heal you're gonna attack gofer now watch oh oh now they want to attack the srs the other day when i was like i had a no yesterday i was trying to fight crimson by myself and they just wouldn't leave no he wouldn't leave um who was it not dare i think i had blue meliotis but still, he just wouldn't leave them alone. Let's do this. If we can do this, I guess we can kill him. But if he goes after Elizabeth, I mean, she did her job. You saw how much she healed. That was crazy. That was nuts. I was actually kind of blown away. But since he is a S since she is an SR, she doesn't have the greatest HP pool. And plus, I'm running attack and defense on us. Oh, you did it on Gother. That's perfect. That's awesome. Thanks, buddy. Uh, let's do this. Escanor, you can, why not? Let's, let's just have you just murder this man real quick because uh, you got your max ultimate. I, I mean, I need more coins to actually super awaken him. And then I feel like I can do a video on him. He's one star away from being um, max super awakened. So there you have it. There is SR Elizabeth. Do you think, let me know what you guys think about her. Uh, when did you actually get her up to 80? I know it took me 15 years to do this. I I, sh I should have done it quicker because she was like super important for one of those final bosses a really long time ago. Uh, I'm late to the party as always. <laughs> Uh, there you have you guys. Thank you guys for watching and sticking around to the later parts of the video If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you drop a like and if you are new make sure you go down there and subscribe We're on that road to 500 subscribers. Yes 500 subscribers We're at 200 and thank you guys for sticking with me and thank you guys for so much love I know a lot of you guys love these showcases because I mean when I do these showcases, I find out so much about the unit. Like, oh, how 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 can they be used? I mean, how are they good? I mean, I gotta think about what team they gotta be ran on. I mean, with her, you can just theoretically throw her on any team, and you could never die if you eat some life steal food. And I guess that's the strat for taking into Crimson Demon. I tried it yesterday, even though I failed miserably because he was just oh, bro. Crimson was being such a jerk yesterday, but I've gotten over it, and I'll try it today. And once I've beaten it, I actually make a video covering all hail solo raids the red cr crimson and gray so look forward to that and plus look forward to a showcase covering green escanor i mean i don't think i ever did a video covering escanor have i i don't think so i think i did one covering you are gear and he was like two six man now he's <laughs> now he's six six so i guess i'll make a video it's better late than never just like this elizabeth video so Thank you guys for watching. I'm done blabbering on like I always say that, but I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the next video. All right. Peace.